welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so excited to be putting up these videos for 2018. I had to take a week off hiatus from Vlogmas. Um, that was just like the most stressful freaking thing that I have done ever, but it was also like super rewarding and I really enjoyed it. It's the first time that I've ever said like, I'm gonna sit here and do this and it, and it happened. And I really have to like thank my friends, um, especially my best friend Emily, because like honestly, like if I didn't upload a video, she would be like, where's your girl, where's your video? Like she kept me on track and I had so much help filming that it was insane. So thank you to all of you guys. If you guys are new to my channel, make sure you go ahead and smash the subscribe button. You guys know the deal. Turn on notifications if you want to see every time that I upload. I'm a lifestyle vlogger here on YouTube and I really strive to show you guys every aspect of my life from the military to beauty videos to whatever. Whatever I do in life, I want to share it because I know there's somewhere, someone somewhere out there that is going to benefit in some way, shape, or form. So that's what this platform's for. In 2018, like, we should all be in a in the purpose of helping each other. So today I'm gonna be showing you how I put this wig on and it's kind of like a review. This wig I have had for over a year and never wore it because it's totally out of my comfort zone. Um, you guys have seen me in the blue one. I have a blue wig, I have a red wig, but the blue one is the same as this wig. Um, it's the same brand. They're the same price, I believe. Um, Honestly, I, th these wigs, I really like them. I like the cap construction, and I feel like they're a really reasonable price. So without further ado, we're gonna jump in to the damn wig review, and I'm gonna show you guys how I styled this one. I want you to understand that this is my first time actually taking the time to sit down and style a wig. So I had some, I had some things happen, like it was crazy, but I feel like next time that I style a wig, I will make sure that I have more time to sit down and actually do it correctly and properly, but I mean, I feel like it came out okay for, 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 for. <gasps> what? Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Bruh. Where? I can't see. Right here. I'm pulling it. Okay. Wait, wait, wait! Right there. It's great! <laughs> wait, I have to take a picture of this. Do you want me to take an up close and picture? No, like, I just am like, are you sure it's not all here? No, bitch, it's attached to your scalp. Give me your phone. Like, I'm always wearing this shirt <laughs> in every video. Okay, so we are going to review this wig. Um,. I got this wig actually from this company. It's called Donna Love Hair. This wig is literally super thick. I'm gonna leave all the information for this wig in the bottom because I'm sure that they still have it. It's a synthetic wig. I honestly wear wigs quite often just because of being in the military. I don't have the time to do my hair a lot of times when people wanna go out. So. I'll just throw on a wig and it's the fastest thing for me to do. But normally what I do is I just take the wig, throw it on top of my head and wear a hat and that's all I do. So this is the actual wig that I'm going to be getting ready, I guess, for wearing. I want to actually wear this wig without a hat tonight. It comes in this little tiny box and it's all of this hair. like. That is so much hair and it's super duper long and I'm just gonna take you along this prep process. This is something that I haven't done so it might take me a hot minute but I will show you guys what comes in this Donna Love hair box. So your wig is actually gonna come in this plastic and then it obviously has a cap on it like a hairnet I guess. Um, I got two wigs at the same time, so they have good discounts pretty often. And I have 090 and 077, so I have the one in blonde, and then I also have the one that's black to blue. So I get a lot of compliments on the black to blue one. I've never worn the blonde one because that's like really out of my comfort zone, so I'm excited to try that. 
they're 24 inches long. So all of that information is on this card that they send you. Now, they send a pretty nice wig cap. This one's different than most of the ones that I've used. Um, it's open like that on both sides. So you put it completely over your head. And I'm going to see if this actually works best for me since I do have my hair braided this time. This thingy, like this wig cap comes in this little cute little box thing and it's, it's going to autofocus on me obviously but the pictures that are on this are just really precious. Um, she is showing you how to use it so you put it on your neck like this and then I believe what you do for this is that you just like <coughs> lift it up like this. For me this is going to be better. I'm going to take and just like I'm crisscrossing. So I'm going to do this and crisscross my braids and then take and just put this over the crisscrossed braids. This is like actually a lot easier than I expected. So I don't use this wig cap um, because when I like normally because when I have all my damn hair it is literally nuts like I have so much hair so you just really like the biggest thing that I've learned about wearing wigs is you really want your hair to be as flat to your head as possible so that you don't be out here looking like you're wearing a hat of wig honestly I am just going to take and put this on um the head that I have this on I got from the, the Ratchet Beauty Supply Store, the one that I be talking about in all my videos. So, um, inside the wig cap, <coughs> I like the construction of these wigs. Um, they're just so much better than the Ratchet Hair Store wigs. Like, um, it's lace, obviously, and um, that's what this is on the front because you're going to put the wig on and then like cut it off where you want it to be at. So I really don't be putting it on and measuring. I just cut it off where I think that it's going to look good. Like I'm, it's never failed me. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, and then you have these little strappy straps that you can tighten the wig if you need to. I have a big head. My head is big AF and I leave mine undone. But this is, these wigs are stretch. The wig cap construction is good. Like they're, it's stretchy. So I'm going to just put it on to show you, I guess, how the lace looks. And I'm not really doing anything special here just because I'm just doing this for reference. But ugh, my nose is running. Um, you're just going to cut this off. I read it. So this is what the cut lace looks like and I did accidentally cut a little bit of hair. Now that I have it cut off, I'm going to actually put it on. Now when you put on the wig, the easiest thing that I have found, do the middle first because you want that like perfect and then the side ones can be, the two side ones can be adjusted however. So this wig, the middle one is at the front edge of the hairline right there and then there's one on the side here and one on the side right there so I'm about to put this on for real for real This looks super wiggy. Um, I also haven't clipped in the side ones yet. Okay, so I have a big forehead and a lot of girls will like try to cover up their forehead with their wig, but I don't really understand that. Like to me, this is too low. Yeah. Like it's way too low. Um, some girls like like to leave it and like to have it there but I like pull my back like I would like it to actually be about where my regular hairline is like right this is right literally right in front of it 
So it's like awkwardly crooked, but it's okay. So I'm going to go through and go ahead and brush the hair because I'm making it really, really tangly. That's the one thing about this hair company that I don't like is it is the most tangly hair. Like it will, by the end of the night, like the underside is going to look like this. And it's really frustrating because I'm not walking around with a purse when I go out. Um, and I'm not going to carry this brush around with me. So this brush actually comes with the wig. Uh, I think I only got given one. Like, look how much static is in it right now. Like, look how freaking long this is. Yeah. It's just oil. You can rub it with lotion. All right. So, look at that. Look at how much better that looks. We just rubbed some oil in this wig. We take some tweezers, and you just want to go along and pluck out the hairs. So I already like started on it and I kind of messed up. Um, but I ripped, you have to be really careful because you can tear the actual like cap. Um, I tore mine a little bit, but it's literally like right where the clip is. So I think that might've had a little bit to do with it too. But I also got lazy and was like ripping hairs out with my hand. So now I know never to do that again. Um, but I have a few more hairs that I want to get out of there. It really doesn't have to be like perfect because nobody's shit is perfect in real life. So I feel like it looks better if it's not perfect. Making sure that the wig doesn't look wiggy and to do this like honestly this wig needs to be trimmed like the ends like no one has hair this long <laughs> so it looks really awkward but to kind of get rid of some of the bulk of this hair we're going to go in with these scissors these are from Walmart in their thinning shears so I'm literally going to pray to God that I don't F this up I'm going to separate this. Get over there. I'm going to go into the bottom like layer and just run my brush through it a little bit. And you don't want to do it at the top of the head. That's bad because then you'll be able to tell. We're going to go like as almost like the middle. I'm going to probably cut this in half too, just in case. Cause at the end of the day, I don't want to literally like destroy the hair, but, and you don't want to do it too much. See, you can see where that like cut out, like it took out chunks of the hair. So that's all I'm going to do for now because I'm scared, <laughs> but, and we're kind of like in a hurry. So I'm dropping back this side and we're going to probably do some on this, these top layers too. I decided that I wanted to take some real scissors. Um, these are actually like for cutting hair. I got them from the Ratchet Hair Store. And I'm going to actually taper. Um, you can see where I messed that part up. <coughs> I'm going to taper like down like this through the hair. I am not a freaking like beauty salon person. But I'm going to do what I what I see get done on my hair every time that I get it done. And this will wig at the end of the day, so it don't matter. I literally just separated like this chunk of hair because this is where I want it to happen. And I think I want it to start at my chin. So here goes nothing. I 
I'm gonna brush my hair like one more time through. Dude, it feels so much better. It's like still really thick, but it's thin enough, you know? Like, mm -hmm. thin enough that it doesn't feel, it doesn't look fake on my freaking head. Like, the blue one looks really, really fake on my head. So, it's a lot easier to manage combing. Um, I'm gonna go in with concealer. And I'm just using the concealer that I use on a regular basis. And I'm going to conceal this part to make it look like my, like it would be my part. And I think like some people be putting powder on it, but I don't have colored powder. This wig is like crazy. Like I really don't feel like I need to put um, baby powder through it. So like that is the only, Baby powder is the only thing that I really did with my wigs before. Um, that is one thing that I can say that I did care about that. Uh, making sure that my wigs looked realistic um, by using baby powder. Because if you spray it in, it gets rid of the shine. So I am going to spray like a little bit of it in. Or not baby powder. Um, dry shampoo. Um, I'm going to spray a little bit of it in just because... Like, I'm used to doing that, and the dry shampoo that I use smells really good. Um, but yeah, I feel like this came out way better than I expected it to. So, yeah. Anyways, I will talk to you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.